guys, I'm Ranelle. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a pretty pink makeup look that I do very often because I love putting pink eyeshadow on. This is perfect because Valentine's Day is this week, so you guys can use it for that, but you can also use it for spring, summer, fun colors, etc. So, let's get started. Got my cute headband on. Okay, so I'm going to start with Neutrogena's Radiant Primer Serum. You can get this at Target, Walmart, etc. It's very, very lovely. I'm gonna go one, two, three, boop. And then when you lightly tap that in, it's very glowy, so I love it. Perfect. And I just read or saw recently that you're not supposed to rub in primer all the way. You're supposed to just kind of lightly layer it so that your foundation mixes it in or something like that. That's what I've been doing recently is not rubbing in my primer all the way. Then next I'm using the CC It Cosmetics Foundation. Uh, it's anti-aging 50 plus SPF. I don't know, all good things. I am in the color Fair, but I also use the color Fair Light as I start getting tanner in the summer. Today I'm looking a little pale, so we're gonna use the color Fair. I just do one squirt, it's very full coverage, so you don't need a whole lot. Next, I'm going to use the Maybelline concealer in the color Warm Light. There we go. I only conceal under my eyes recently. I don't really do anything else. <laughs> Hopefully this turns out good. Whenever I do my makeup in person and in pictures in real life, I feel like it looks really good. And then sometimes when I do tutorials, I'm like, Ranelle, what in the heck were you doing? So, <laughs> I'm also like, I go really fast, you know. Things to do, places to be, people to see, that sort of thing. Okay, next I'm going to use Hoola Light Benefit Powder. It's technically a bronzer, I believe. A light bronzer all over the face. I take like a fluffy brush like this and kind of put this all over especially my neck, to blend down. It's the most professional makeup tutorial I've ever done. I got a facial the other day and I feel like it kind of messed up my skin, not gonna lie. And I usually don't ever get facials. This was a rare occasion because Rocky and Ryland had me and my sister-in-law for Secret Santa and they got us both facial like certificates, so we went. But I feel like my skin looked better before. <laughs> I put a lot, it seems like I'm putting a lot of this on, but I'm just like really making sure it's all blended and I wanna make sure my face looks bronzy and sun-kissed and not like a ghost. <laughs> Next, I have some blush. This says blush, but it's like a bronze color from Jordana. I've had this forever. I'm actually pretty sure it was my mom's, but um, I just take a slanty brush like this and do around my nose a little bit, up in my eyebrows, and then around my face, kind of framing it. Next, blush. This is from MAC. I've had this for forever. It was like my competition blush when I was in dance. And we're gonna put this on the cheekbones. Just a little smiley. And then I like to go up here above my eyebrows and across my nose like this. So it kind of looks like you got a little bit of sunburn. It's a look. Okay. Then with all that, I go back with my beauty blender and I kind of mix all that in so that there's no harsh lines or anything like that in case I did it bad. <laughs> Recently, I haven't been um, putting setting powder on, like under my eyes or anything like that. That's why I do the powder all over. That kind of sets everything. And then I just leave my eyes be. Works for me. Okay, next, now that we put concealer on our eyes, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I am using the Kylie Jenner palette. I think this was her Valentine palette from last year. I'm obsessed with it. Um, so with like a whatever brush this is. This is my favorite brush ever. I'm gonna use a light brownish color for the creases. Boop, boop, blue. Sometimes I don't even use a brown color. I'll literally just go to town and put pink over my entire eyelid and somehow it works. But today, since I'm doing a professional tutorial on YouTube, um, I figured I should use a couple different colors. So, got the creases covered. Now, I'm just using a really fluffy brush 
and I'm gonna use the color February. It's like a perfect bubblegum pink. It's almost like the same as my nails. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid. It's like the same color as the backdrop. It's so pretty. Awesome, love this color. Okay, once you're satisfied with however much you put on, you could leave it like this and call it a day. But I'm gonna take uh, this red color. It's called First Date. It's a nice red, but it kind of comes across pink. And just barely put this in the creases and on the corner here. It's a r it's red, but it, it looks hot pink, and it just kind of ties the whole thing together. Pulls up. <laughs> Okay, then I'm gonna go back with the brush that I used on the brown and kind of just blend that in very lightly, make sure it's all good. Last for eyeshadow, I'm going to take this Halo Top X ColourPop collab. They sent this to me a while ago when it came out, but I'm obsessed with whatever contraption this is. It's like metallic eyeshadow and it's amazing. Ah, I'm spilling stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna put this kind of in the corners to give me some sparkles. Oh, so pretty. They had a bunch of different colors because it's a collab with like an ice cream company. They had really, really cool like greens and oranges and blue colors that I've been using a lot. This pink one is awesome. We just kind of blend that into the middle. Let me check that. Oh, looking amazing. Okay, <laughs> now. Mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. Ow. I didn't do that right. Ow. Nope. <laughs> that eye's hard to do. So they're at the right side. Then I do this because I messed up my concealer when I rested this on it. <laughs> okay. Some mascara. I've never heard of this brand. It's called Avon True Color. I think it came in a Revolve Beauty Box or something. I'm gonna put this all over. Try not to do my mascara face. Maybe if I keep talking to you guys, then I don't really do it. I'm like, egg. <laughs> um, I painted my nails pink today, which is a very new step for Rydell because I literally, I love pink. It's my favorite color. I've never put it on my nails before. I don't know why. I just have never liked it, but this one's a good pink. And if I messed up anywhere, mascara wise, the trick is to take like a spoolie like this. I don't know if I'm doing that right. <laughs> and then I just it literally brushes off like so easily. Oh, I only messed up once. Yay. And then I'm gonna keep this out and do my eyebrows. This is Brow Ultra Slim by Maybelline. Today I'm using a lot of um, like drugstore makeup products, which I thought would be perfect because they're all pretty um, affordable. I hate when my eyebrows are uneven, but they naturally are. I think this one's bigger or thicker or something. Chick problems, right? Right, Gordy? That's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to use Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon like this. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It stays on so well. Okay, that works. Then real quick, I'm just gonna go over with like a lighter pink lip balm from Baby Lips. Uh, I think this is also Maybelline. Just kind of blend that in. I feel like I look a little shiny, but I think it's just the lights. Okay, I'm, I'm done pretty much, but I like to add individual eyelashes. Um, these are so easy to put on. I used the three together, so you literally just put like two on each side. It takes two seconds. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh no. Where's my tweezers? Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Got it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the lid here. Boop. This is the Strip Lash Adhesive by Kiss, and it's like with aloe vera, so it's like better for you or something. Then, there's two sizes on here. There's a short and a long. So I'm gonna take the long one first, you dap it in the glue just a little bit. I kind of let it dry just a smidge. And then, pow. 
you just set it on the edge like that and it kind of gives you a really pretty like wing so I just do that side and then I do the other side with the long one first Ta -da. so that you could even just do that but I like to fill it in one more time with a short one so I take a short one and then put that on each side right next to the long one. Oh, that was perfect hmm <laughs> take another short one dip it in the glue dippy dippy oh gosh I nailed that yay and then we just kind of push those in oh I'm so happy if you feel like it I just do powder one more time or not really powder but just the brush that should all looks good then I'm using the I don't know what this is um Anami radical setting mist for long lasting makeup <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I think I did all the steps. I just feel like I forget stuff when I do makeup tutorials, but I just don't have like a whole lot of steps. I don't bake or do anything like that. I love you going to? No! We're good! Okay, I'm done! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more makeup tutorials like this one, comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up so that I know to do more of these or to not do more of these, etc. So I would love your input. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day or whatever you're doing. Um, I love you and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.